Hello Libra, this is you versus them for the 14th through the 20th. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. I do personal readings. That information is down below the video, guys. Okay, let's see what your past issues were with this relationship. Everything was like unclear. You didn't know what you were getting with this person. Um, maybe they were all over the place. Maybe they thought they had options even. Okay, Scorpio energy here. Let's see what their issues were with this relationship. Maybe, um, maybe you were too aggressive. Maybe um, you guys, you know, you reacted hastily maybe spoke too much too frequently um maybe kind of just like you were over excitable here okay let's see what is keeping you guys apart currently hmm I don't think you really know exactly what it is that you want at this point. Um, you don't know about this other person. Okay. Let's see what's keeping them from you. Hmm. Maybe they have started a new relationship. Um, maybe they, maybe they feel like you have turned your back on loving them because keep in mind, this is how they, you know, their issues were. They feel like maybe you weren't as involved as they were, you know, invested even here that you don't want it. Okay. Let's see what's currently going on for you guys. I think you're looking to the future. Um, and you're just trying to gain your stability. I feel I feel like a lot of you guys are just wanting to um, move forward. But you also just want to be bothered with who you want to be bothered with. It's like you're not allowing just anybody into your energy field. That's just the bottom line. If somebody is worthy of you spending your time with them, I think you will. But, yeah, you're just not up for the, the foolishness, I feel. Let's see what's currently going on with the other person. Hmm. They are undecided about how to, um, how to approach you, how to get you to see that they care. Very indecisive energy here. They also feel like you're very dis indecisive. Like, you know, that you're guarding yourself. Is what this person is um, feeling. Let's see what is influencing <clears throat> you guys. And feeling what's keeping you apart right now. Let's see. Hmm. The Magician and the High Priestess. I think you're doing what you feel is right. You're doing, you're following your heart, your intuition. Um, if your intuition is telling you not to do anything at all, guess what? That's what you're doing here. Not doing anything at all. You know, it's like I'm not going to budge. If somebody's not meeting me halfway, or if this person seems like they are being a trickster, um, you know, trying to manipulate me, it's like, you know, you're not being bothered with that here. Following your intuition, doing what you feel is right. Let's see what's influencing them. They cannot stop thinking about you. They cannot stop thinking about you. They feel like you guys would be good together. They also feel like you probably are meant to be. Okay. They really don't know what to do here. They are like 
you know, mirroring you almost because you have the seven of cups here, not really knowing like, you know, what to do. Well, the ace with the six of cups is seven of cups, just not really knowing how to go about, you know, getting you to see this, you know, what they have to offer you, getting you to open up here. Okay. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. Two of cups. There it is. I had a feeling it was coming. Um, yeah. Cancer energy, Scorpio energy um, here. Very much so. Does not have to be um, those signs or even a water energy. But somebody's feeling very emotional during this period of time. I do feel um, they feel very strongly that you guys are meant to be together. You guys probably, you probably know this as well. You feel this. There's something that you guys are sharing here. Probably even dreams, even. You know, there's something that is very significant here. Between the two of you. All right. Let's see what's coming in for them. Feeling very sad, regretful about... Um, I mean, just really not knowing where they stand with you, I feel. Maybe they're regretful about something that they did in the past, even. But, excuse me, this person's feeling very regretful. Like, they wish they had have done something differently. Very Scorpio energy, guys, okay? Let's see. What is blocking you? I don't feel like this is blocking you, though. I feel like this is like what's blocking them is that and somebody else got this. I forgot who it was, but I feel like the fact that you are so strong in yourself and knowing what it is that you want here and not accepting anything less than that. Um, that's what's like putting the pressure on them that they're going to have to come with it and bring it. OK, so, yeah, I feel like. I feel like this is more so, um, you know, you just not budging. But also, there is there is a need for you to not get in your own way here, okay? Because this is also you gaining your stability for some of you. Some of you are really needing to follow your intuition and know that um, there is a substantial love here. Okay? There is a significant love here. So, it could go a couple of ways here. Either you are blocking them because it's like, you know, you're putting the pressure on them that they just cannot come with any um, bullshit that, you know, it's like got them in this little shell and not really knowing how to move here. Or what's blocking you is yourself, your own inability to move out of your safe zone, your stability. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see what's blocking them. Hmm. I think it's their own, um, them kind of being full of themselves. Them kind of putting off this this um, this this air of like you know I'm good by myself or I don't need you. They probably come off kind of aloof when they are worrying, sick, probably drinking and stuff. Okay, so yeah, that's their blockage. Um, there's something that they're doing that's really not that good for them. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So let's see what the advice is for you guys. Hmm. The advice for you guys is to face your own fears and demons. Face your own level of obsessiveness, um, whatever that is relating to. Okay? Only you guys know that. Because this is addiction and this is addiction. Only this is your line and this is their line. Okay? Same difference, overindulging in something. This could be thoughts. This is this is probably 
I feel like kind of, um, you know, it can be lying to yourself, you know, not really seeing things for the way that they really are here. Um, yeah, so you guys are really mirroring each other. I feel like this is a this is a very strong connection, my Libra friends. OK, let's see what the advice is for them. Hmm. The three of cups, a lot of water here. Um, hmm. I feel like instead of this person sitting here crying over what happened in the past, knowing they want this, this, you know, connection with you, knowing they want to be with you, they think about you all the time. I feel like you think about them as well, um, is to reunite, reunite. There's still two cups here. Three cups are spilled over, meaning that you guys did not come back together. You broke up. Reunite here. Attempt to. Stop sulking and indulging in whatever vices are making them feel okay in the moment and do what they need to do in order to try to reconnect is what I'm getting here. Okay. Let's see what the outcome is for you guys. Hmm. I think that um, we have a five of swords for you, which is winning at all costs, kind of like, you know, one upping someone, that type of thing. But I also feel like you guys are fighting, facing your fears. It's like you're, it's like pushing them down, pushing them down, not wanting to look at them, not going to look at it, not addressing those issues. Um, I think you're struggling to though. I think I think you're struggling to address um, whatever issues that you have. You're struggling to address those issues. And I feel like you will come through this. So you can, you know, move forward here. And not hold yourself back. I think you will. And then I feel like this person... I, I just get this feeling that this person just looks at you. They just stalk you. They just... They watch your social media. They... And you're on guard. You're on guard because it's like, you know, you're wanting to, because this too may also represent like the, the obsessiveness with this individual and possibly what they have done. Um, it's like, you know, feeling like you are trying to block them out even. And I think this person feels that. And so they are a little intimidated so they probably yeah just sit up and watch your social media which is what some people do okay so that's what i have for you my libras and i will be speaking with you guys soon